That's drunk. We've talked about insane arcade beat-em-ups, insane arcade fighting games, now how about insane arcade platformers? Here we've got Biomechanical Toy, developed in 1997 by Galeco, a Spanish developer that also made games like Thunderhoop and World Rally. The main theme here is toys, as you might expect, and you play as an action figure named Inguz, who looks like he'd be the older cousin of the dude from Kid Chameleon. He's going after another toy named Scrubby, who was imprisoned for going after a magic pendulum, which makes all the toys in this world come to life. He's back and he's stolen it again, so you gotta track him down through five levels while rescuing captured toys, and you gotta get the pendulum back in its rightful place or else this entire world will disappear. But, uh, maybe that's for the better, because dear god, the settings in this game are, I mean, what even is this? You jump into whatever this thing is to move on to the next level and then he spits you out into a chess-themed level where you've got angry chess pieces, you've got possessed wasps, okay, regular wasps, really. You got darts aimed for your head that you're supposed to use as platforms, then you're floating upward destroying these virus things. Man, this game isn't just crazy, it's hard as hell. And not just in the typical cheap arcade way, either, although there's plenty of that here, too. The settings and environments are what steal the show here. You've got typical stuff like a Wild West setting and a train you run down, but there's also a crazy forest with lava pits. I mean, just look at the sheer amount of stuff going on here. Unfortunately, this means there is quite a bit of slowdown that pops up here and there, which is really too bad. But still, for me, it didn't detract from the game too badly. I do need to make sure I point out the sound design, though. I mean, what in the hell is going on here? It's like they took every stock sound effect they could find and just crammed anything and everything they could in there. Not that I'm complaining, the resulting effect makes my head spin, and I mean that in a good way. This game is a trip. It's classic run-and-gun stuff here, run to the right and blast everything that moves with infinite ammo through your semi-automatic pistol, which of course you can upgrade to an automatic and to a shotgun. There's also a clear screen attack and other fun stuff you can find along the way. One nice thing here is that this game is evidently made by people that have played lots of run-and-gun games before. Sometimes in games like this, you have no way of locking your aim a certain way without running in that direction at the same time. Here, all you gotta do is hold down the fire button and your character will stand still, and you can fire in five different directions in that spot. You can also jump and shoot downward as well, and you'll need to take advantage of that mechanic often. It also helps that you have a life bar instead of any kind of one-hit death crap, but once you're hit from an enemy, it takes one-fourth of your life, so you can usually survive four hits before you're dead, so keep that in mind. You can also shoot apart certain projectiles, so that goes a long way in protecting yourself. Like I said, this game is tough in the traditional organic way a video game can be tough, but don't get me wrong, there's plenty of ridiculous arcade cheapness here. Enemies can and will respawn randomly, and you yourself will respawn randomly if you die, and when you respawn, you could fall right on top of a nest of enemies with like a second to get out of there. It's cheap as hell, but hey, what do you expect out of a quarter-munching arcade game? So yeah, just a quick video here about a crazy arcade platformer. Now, if you're looking for more stuff like this, I gotta say Biomechanical Toy is nowhere near stuff like Metal Slug. Those games might as well be in their own category. But for what it is, Biomechanical Toy is pretty dang crazy, and as a result, it's pretty dang good. If you like stuff like Capcom's Willow Arcade Game and Three Wonders, then I think you'll dig this game too. It's never gotten any sort of home console release or ever been a part of a compilation or anything like that, so this is another game that you've gotta play any way you can. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.